If you if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why why are you not subscribed? If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Both the 20k is on the way. We is back. Or we are back. <laughs> We're back. Billy interview, fourth year, man. Let's see the upgrades, Billy. Let's get into the video, man. Let's do it. Talk to me, Billy. My name is Billy Eilish. Yeah. Billy Eilish. My name is Billy yeah. Eilish. Yeah. Yeah. This is getting out of hand. I am Billy Eilish. Mm. I'm doing this shit till I'm 90. So get ready. That'd be hard though. Uh, I think it's October 18th, 2017. It's October 18th, 2018. October 18th, 2019. I heard green hair Billy was like iconic. Like what made the green hair iconic? Like what? Was it the era? Let me know. October 18th, 2020. I'm 15. I'm 16. I'm 17. I'm 18. 18. I have 257,000. I have 6.3 million. 40.7 yeah. million. 67.5 <laughs> million. Where are these people coming from? Like, that's my question. The most followed person that follows me is Chloe Grace Moretz. Katy Perry, maybe. Justin Bieber. Ariana Grande. Damn. My baby. With 204 million followers. Yikes. It's a picture of me and Charlie XCX. Isn't it the one about me smiling? 10 million. That's a lot. That picture, it, damn! Oh my God, the Grammys, whoa. Whoa, I ain't know she was like that. Okay, let me put some respect on Billy's name. My bad. Five Grammys, one five Grammys. Ooh, <laughs> crazy. I got a question for you. Fuck you, Shaq. Folks at home. <laughs> wow, I will be 18. Yeah. I never thought I'd be 18. Hopefully I look fly. Type shit though. What is that quote? Well, I have accepted the things I cannot change. And will I have changed the things that I cannot accept? Mm. It's a good thing to think about. I like that. What, what, what changes? You know, what endings? What new beginnings? Type shit. Oh God, I did not age well. <sighs> Girl, please. <laughs> Talk about what's gonna change. What's gonna be different in here? <sighs> Your whole life will have gone. But not just you, everyone. What the f was that? What the f was that? Coronavirus. Oh, yeah. Definitely not where I thought that, that I would be currently, but I'm also not mad at it. I'm very, very lucky to have had this year play out the way it did mm. because for a lot of people, it was literal hell. And I am very aware that I have been pretty blessed for. for mm. Fortune that I've had this year, even though the year has sucked. It's still four years in. Whatever. We're alive still, you know? I don't know. The thing is, like, I don't really have any free time. Yeah, and to see her, like, right there and to see her now is crazy. I also kind of, it's weird. I contradict myself because I kind of don't really like having a day off because I get off the hustle. Type shit. <laughs> I get out of the groove. You right. Know? I get out of, like, my vibe. I hope yeah. whatever amount of off days I want next year, I get. Like, if I want 100 off days next year, I hope I get that. I hope I'm listened to. Crazy. That's basically it. I really said 100 days. That's, yeah, that's crazy. 100 days, You're wilding. I said. You're wilding. Oh, bitch, you got what you wished for. We're, you happy? <laughs> you happy? Cause, that ain't age well. Damn. This is the most amount of time off that I've had in, you know, five years now. Damn. Um, Ooh, crazy. Ain't gotta drop music. Great. She's cool. She, she not worried about nothing. What? That's so tough. I think that goes for a lot of people, but that was even true for like the first month of quarantine. It, you know, we had three weeks off and I was like, wow, and she worked her ass off, off for four had. years straight. I can't believe it. It's so great. It's like a free vacation and it'll, we'll go right back out on tour in a week and we'll be fine. And clearly we were all wrong with that. And we look like clowns now, Hard work. but I will say I have made and created things that I don't think I ever would have created without this period of time. Um, yeah, talk to him, Billy. This amount of time and this just life itself. I would like things to be normal, though, again. I would like That's that. over with, baby. <laughs> I will say that I, I'm, I'm grateful for what it's given me. I really wanted to go on that world tour. We started it, got three shows in, canceled. Flew back home. Damn. Um, I really wanted to 
get a Lamborghini, you better have a Lamborghini. Oh, she didn't <laughs> it's get not it. that I couldn't have, oh. I just, there were so many other things that were so much more important. There's more people to give that money. It's okay. I was hoping she had the Lambo. Too. There's way, way more and I cannot stress But enough. I get it, I get it. Way more important things going on than the fucking Lamborghini. So it is. One thing I have now that I did not have a year ago. I guess. Is my little pooch puppy shark. Shark, shark, come here. She got this big ass dog. <laughs> this is Shark. That's a big guy. My son. He is so silly. Look. Oh, he's wagging his tail. This is Shark. Didn't have him a year ago. Cause he's only eight months old. That's a big. All right, I'll let you go, bud. Dude, or she a little girl. <laughs> or a little um, woman, my bad. The people that support me. Oh, lady. My fans, which I don't like to call fans. My, you know, my family, you know. Finishing this album and doing the most crazy shows I could, I'm capable of doing in the next month. I'm pretty sure she did that. Maintaining um, my happiness, which I've been experiencing for like the first Hopefully time. Hopefully she did that too. <laughs> in many years. Suzanne. I wanna stay happy. That's a big Talk to me. me. So cute. I love that those are all very genuine. Those were 100% what I was feeling very strongly. Okay, um, okay. It's so weird, like what we take for granted. Like I would never have thought that I wouldn't be able to do shows one day, you know? So much time spent, me dreading tour, dreading press, dreading- Life dreading, come at you and fast, I had no Pete. idea that I was dreading something that I would one day not even be legally allowed to do. Like that's what's crazy to me. The shows are like the one thing that I feel like I've ever been good at. I know that sounds stupid, but it's like the only thing I've ever done that made me feel like I- But like you started this when you was like 13, I think. I don't know, somebody fat chip me, but like she's 13. She ain't even lived yet. <laughs> and she just made, a hit. Ocean Eyes, I think she said in her last interview, it's like, what? What are you talking about? You know, you still young as hell, Billy. She talking like she an old woman. I get what she's saying from this standpoint of her life, I guess, you know. Belonged? Maybe it's cliche. I don't know. Lord, keeping my family safe mm -hmm. and, you know, staying up. There isn't much else to do right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything matters differently now than a year ago. Honestly, everything. I can't, I really can't even think of one thing. Like, all the things that I felt like mattered most a year ago matter less. All the things I felt like mattered the least a year ago matter more. Um, okay. I learned so much more about just the way people are living that I wasn't aware of climate crisis and social injustices and, you know, kind of all the bad things. And I think made me think differently. It's not like I wasn't aware, I just learned more and thought about it differently and, you know, was more open to learning. And uh, it's been a crazy year. Uh, people think I'm pregnant. A lot of people Whoa. thought I was pregnant. I remember that, that shit was like, that what? I <laughs> sold my soul to Satan. There's crazy. this picture of me like running from my car to my brother's front door on like a 110 day degree day in a tank top and everyone's like, damn, Billy got fat. I'm like, nope, this is just how I look. You've just never seen it before. So that's that's like the most current one, but what the whatever. F Bro, internet. <sighs> um, I don't know. I think that's uh, that's not really for me to decide. I think, yeah. The reason people are looking up to you is because you're you. They're not looking up to you so that you'll tell them something that you would never actually tell them. They're looking up to you so that you tell them something that you would tell them yourself. Mm, so bar. I love having bar. Kids, kids relate to me and tell me that I make them feel comfortable in their bodies. Like that, if I can do anything, I want to do that. So it's really hard to talk about my life and have it not sound like mm. I'm bragging. Let's see if she had that problem. Sometimes I'll catch myself in a conversation with someone Still. acting like I'm in an interview. And in interviews, you're trained to talk about yourself and not ask the other person about it. Did she outgrow that? And so I'll catch myself in, art, in, in conversations where I'm like, shit, like I'm not, I'm being interviewed. I'm acting like I'm being interviewed instead of acting like I'm talking to a human being. Such a good mm -hmm. point. I will never stop talking about that. I'm glad that I was definitely aware of it a year ago. Right, um, she got, she learned early. I, I feel so much better about it now. I was so insecure about where I was. So I felt like I was always having to prove like, 
what I did and what I do and like who I am and whatever. But something about it getting bigger and bigger makes me almost more comfortable not proving myself. Mm -hmm. I like that. A while That's fire. now. <laughs> I've That's fire. I like, bro. The way she mature every year, it's like, man, I like seeing people just progress and be greater and greater and greater. It's just something so beautiful to like, like look at. You know what I'm saying? Really having an identity crisis a little. I think it was December. I did some like radio show mm -hmm. performance, and the entire show, I felt like I was pretending to be Billie Eilish. Like I felt I completely wasn't looking at myself as myself. I was just like totally seeing it from not my own perspective and it was <laughs> so Whoa. weird. Happened multiple times at like award shows and whatever. I just felt like, I felt like a parody of myself. Oh, I, I felt so she little... felt like a like, Billie Eilish is like a character now in a sense. Okay, I'm, I'm here, I'm here Billie, I'm here. A little bit better about it lately. It's just like you forget, like I'm I'm literally 18. It's funny right. that I'm expected to have found myself and stick with it. Feeling you know, like this. Like, you know, I'm having I'm trying different things out. I'm 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 trying different ways Crazy. of living and styles and personalities and you know, hairstyles and clothing and shoes and right. I'm just trying it all out right. I'm like a growing fucking girl. I feel like them changing they like style every day you know what i'm saying because celebrities don't like to wear clothes twice nigga please <laughs> nigga please what are you talking about but no i feel like how that really makes them feel like they're really a character on some shit that shit crazy am i bullshit i definitely though? had like moments of like reaching out to a couple people but every time i do it i, I kind of like stop myself because i'm like this is so weird type shit you know, i've had some conversations with bieber about this where we just you know talk about the craziness of our lives and whatever like ariana's Damn. been really cool about stuff those are some people that i feel like have really shown me i feel like they can relate to that too like, you know you know even as like she's so Katie young told like i feel like justin bieber and ariana gande a had fame at such a young age they can really relate to that though you know what i'm saying that's so hard to find people like that in the industry if they really genuine you know but what do I know? Reach out I'm not there. Whatever, I don't know if they genuine it, for real. Crazy and, you know, that's really important and I think it's good. Gaga has said it to me before. It's, you know, it's nice to, to hear from Shout people Lady that like, have gone through this and know what it's like and went through the shit if you know, you of know. it and went through the amazing parts of it. And it's like, it's nice to hear people with me. But at the same time, like, no matter like how many people are, are there for you and have gone through similar things, it's like, Nothing ever happens twice. A tattoo, maybe? No, no face tattoos. One? The only two tattoos I want to get are the ones that barely anyone could see. I did get it. Yeah, tattoo. that's hard. What you get? <laughs> but you won't ever see it. I did what I said I'd do. What you expect? Okay, well, I looked at my phone. What that mean, though? <laughs> that's what I did. What that mean, this though? This morning when I woke up, I looked at my phone. I think I made myself a burrito for breakfast. What type of burrito? With a gluten-free tortilla. I woke up and then pooped. <laughs> That's what I did. Type shit. It's for, hey, burrito. it's the first thing I did, dude. You asked. I looked at my phone. That's what I did. I looked at my phone. Classic day. Face recognition, like there's no home button. What the heck? They've made monograms crazy. What the hell is a monogram? Damn. A hologram. That's when that came out? Whoa, no way. Damn, time is flying, bro. What the hell is going on? <laughs> That's what I meant. It's crazy that you can charge your phone by like putting it on that little disc. Damn. Robots, dog, like, please. Robots doing stuff. Let's leave the robots in the lab. Uh-oh. Don't let them come out here. Honestly, the news is so bad. What's next, though? Even... Oh yeah, Beyonce had some twins and she still looks fly. Kilani's Boom. pregnant. Boom. Greta Thunberg, honestly. Boom. She's been. What was popping around this time, ass. Billy? Literally, that Trump might lose. <laughs> like that's it. He answer. did not. Wait, did he? <laughs> and that's not even a guarantee. I guess a positive thing would be that a lot no, of people didn't. that say that they've never <laughs> voted are voting for the first time. That is huge news. Wait, shit, did we have the hope at least? Is what I want to say. I think that that. Yeah, that nigga lost. Some hope. It gives us something. It did not give us nothing. Man, I don't even want to get on this topic about 
presidents, bro. This is not that type of channel. Never mind. <laughs> and maybe an opportunity to get better. I'm pretty afraid of people dying. Not me dying, but like m the people around me dying. Type shit. The people I love dying. Right. Or being, you know, fatally injured or, um, you know, some sort of brain damage. Th it's just something that would try and change them drastically or, yeah, that, that would really be. That's, yeah, that's probably. The Man, why she go so deep? That's like real love, deep, like, deep, though. It's tough because that at the time was like kind of an irrational fear. That was kind of just like an overthinking fear. And now it's actually a real thing to fear um, because people are losing their loved ones. And For real. now it's like actually a real possibility. So it's just about staying safe. Honestly, same for a year from now because oh, this was around I don't COVID. know what will have happened in a year. And that Type shit. in okay. itself, it's terrifying. Especially Tweaking. with like the unknown of what next year looks like. Being Apple's up next artist. I did Ellen last week. Oh, this would be crazy. Fallon. So many festivals. I just sold out a headlining arena tour. Had a number one single, biggest selling album of the year. Five grand. Right. Ooh. One, two, three, five four. Five Grammys. Five. Even. Let's talk about it. Lana Del Rey ain't getting no Grammy. Lana Del Rey ain't getting no Grammy. Lana Del Rey ain't getting no Grammy. Stop playing with me, dude. Performed at the Oscars. Met like every celebrity that's ever existed and it was the most overwhelming, insane, surreal thing I've ever experienced. I went to the Brits. I won a Brit. It was amazing. I performed. We recorded the Bond theme song. <laughs> working with Hans Zimmer and the orchestra. I don't even want to talk about it. Recorded. Completely surreal and amazing i started my world arena tour mm -hmm. and then you know the world kind of died yeah. but before it that did. it really you know, did it was quite a year it started off very strong wow, then grammys other things happen and you know we went to tons of protests we fought for people that was a big thing this year too huge accomplishment i feel like and uh we will never stop fighting yeah I will never stop fighting for you, Brianna. I will never stop Everything fighting for all the black and brown people that have lost their lives to, changed. to police brutality and literally just right? racism. 2020 was horrible. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. 2020 might be the worst year since I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. I was going to say some crazy. <laughs> I'm stop fighting for you ever, ever, ever. I will do what I can. And I stand by that. Yeah. You know, I have such a huge platform. Like, why would I want to waste that? Yeah, it's easier to say nothing, but it's like, that's not going to help anything. And it's not going to, I don't know. I don't get the point of, of silence. I think it's, there's a difference between silence and processing. And I think that that is like an, a big thing that people need to understand is that you got to think through what you're going to say say it in the right way i don't know i think it's really important to speak because up, me i'm a mind my business type of guy i'm not gonna lie to you man you know because i know somebody else will mind their business if it you know what i'm saying so i'm just a mind my business type of guy you know <laughs> is that wrong i don't know also be respectful you know it's been a, a year of just trying to speak up for everything you believe in and <sighs> fight really hard you know there's nothing else to do like why wait until you experience it to fight for mm, it you know what I'm saying? right like, oh that's a already. bar billy i hope that it okay we have more years of fighting and i hope that something fucking changes right but in this day and age i don't know brock hampton tiara whack is sick my favorite artist is techno I've been loving some Arlo Parks. Who? Honestly, Ash Nico has some some Who? slams. Like I can't even lie to you. I fucking love the Strokes album that came out, the most recent one. TikTok songs are burned into my brain, but you know it is what it is. <laughs> That's what 2020 is. <laughs> some of them are good though, so I so i TikTok. You know, whatever. My family. I'm I'm always talking to my family. Always. <laughs> Every second of my life. Mm -hmm. My mom and dad still come on tour with me. Yeah. Phineas still comes on tour with me. Yeah. Every day. Pretty much every day. Yeah. We're always together, always talking, always, you know, whatever. It's great. I love my family. That's hard. I'm so lucky to have my family right now. Not only with me, but like, That's well beautiful. and alive. It's been fun. It's been good. It's been good. <laughs> you know what I'm about to say? For Fruitvale Station. Still? I am. What the hell? 
and I'm about to turn 18 gold. <laughs> that was so corny. For the first time in my life, I don't feel the need to be with anyone. Mm. I don't have my eyes on anyone. I'm not in the mood and I'm totally fine with that. Okay. Same shit. Mm. Yes. Respectable. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite part I like of that. the last video. I'm in pretty much the same place. I don't have a boyfriend and I'm happy. Like I'm I'm not worried at all. I, I love it. I'm not opposed to anything. I'm not, Yeah. you know, pushing anything away yeah. or forcing something. Yeah. I'm just like steady and cool with it. Which is great. We like so that. It's a good place. I'm, I'm still with 17 year old Billy. Mm -hmm. Fashion is like the main one. I love fashion. I always have. I want to direct videos. I want to have my own clothing line. I want to have my own. Talk uh, to me. Lots of cars. What's the clothing line looking like? <laughs> Such a car nut. Little girl. That's super cute. Well, once again. Talk to me. I did it. Ooh. Yeah, fashion is is still my my expression. Ooh. I definitely am not as like We like that. interested as I used to be in designing as much as I was um, because I think I there are more things that I like doing than than designing and kind of like curating and stuff, but I still am like very in charge of my clothes and I have a clothing brand. That's hard. So there you go. A little blush. I direct my own videos, Billy. I Somebody guess. said that that was her thing and okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, comment. Shout out to you for being on top of that. You know what I'm saying? I was so like, what is blush? It's her clothing. Okay. Do. Yes. You got what you wanted. I used to think the industry sucked because I was miserable. <laughs> and it wasn't she my said, team's <laughs> fault. It was just where I was at the time. And that's why I thought that it was that. I just feel like the industry is thought of as this like whole cult type thing it's like this big like i always see these fucking trolls online like the industry is where all the people sell their souls to the devil for like, real though oh, i still think like that i need to go lie very taking it far like the fucking people in my comments section. some of them you just can't man you just can't put stuff past people bro you just i don't know man it get weird out here with people with money p diddy p diddy boy it's a special place in hell for you, brother, with gasoline jars. And holy shit. <laughs> so true. It, I feel the P. same Diddy. way. Everybody's kind of like made to, to hear like the industry and go like, but the industry, you know. For some people, it's totally true. Some people have terrible, terrible experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a couple experiences where I was like, this is some bullshit, but it's not like the industry does it. It's just the people around you. And I also have been really lucky to have the team that I have and that I have had since the beginning. But and that's yeah, true there's though. some weirdos, like there's some weirdos. Okay. And there's some weirdo group of groups of people that you just kind of got to get get away from. But it's just about knowing your people and knowing your boundaries and like who you trust and stuff. I want to learn that it's all worth it because it's tiring as heck. And it was, the shows Billy. Make it worth it. The shows and the supporters. I was taking it for granted. And I, that makes me really mad. And I don't want to be. And I just was. I like how her style so changed true. throughout the years, too. That's so, so hard. So, so true. Yes, it's worth it, for sure. Absolutely worth it. She on a grown woman Absolutely. right here. I would not change it for anything else. I can finally say that. It's worth it. But you can't just be like expecting it to be worth it. You gotta like change some stuff around, make sure you're happy, yeah. make sure you got what you need and then it will be worth it. The yeah. maturity, every video. Having the approach that no one's had, trying to write something no one's written. See, that's why I'm, I'm still bad at it because that's what I was trying to do. I kind of have no idea what to expect. Talk like to me. Last year, I thought I knew what the, what What's she gonna say this year? Album and I thought I knew like what would be popular and I was so wrong. <laughs> I have gotten so much better mm. at it. I feel she said easy. so much more confident in my writing. Easy. I feel like I know myself better. <laughs> I'm better at advocating um, my opinions and communicating. And I think Phineas and I have just like seriously just like really gotten in the groove damn we do it so fast like there was like a period that's tough, of that, like man. a month ago or something i was just like we were just texting the lady this shit like cake to her song done 
another song done. Another song Ooh, done. So I'm it? so Come much on. better at it. Talk to him, Billy. How long? How long? What'd she say? He gotten in the group. What'd she say? We do it so fast. Like, Talk to him, Billy. There was like a period of time, like a, m a month ago or something. I was just like, we were just texting the label. She was like, song done. Another song done. Another song done. So I'm so much better at it. I'm so, I, I love it so much more. I actually really do okay, enjoy Billy. it now. And I do feel like I'm. We proud of you over her, man. To be honest with you. Uh, like 12, I think. Maybe like 14, actually. Damn. I think there was like 14 ish. Blank. Blank. Damn. Blank. Blank. Like four and a half. Right now Damn. I have 16. Ooh. We've been working. Yeah. And I love them all. I love all of them. <laughs> The first month, I was incredibly uninspired. I don't know why. I think it was just very overwhelming and scary. And I think after like that first period of time when when and came and went, I got so inspired and creative and like just like made that's beautiful music that I don't I don't think I would have made my brother and I. Like I don't think we would have. Is she doing it with her siblings? Fuck sibling. Siblings. Sibling. Judge me, please. <laughs> I don't. And then one word, fucking no. It's my style. <laughs> I don't know. Billie Eilish parody is my style. Mm. My brother is my best friend. My brother is my best friend. My best friend is Phineas. Talk to him. But he is Who my brother. We got Drew, we got Zoe, we got Laura, we got Shark, we got my family, my brother. Okay. Those is my best friends. Okay. Maybe like once a week. I might be safe if I go to Trader Joe's. I went she to not Trader safe Joe's, no more. Did not work. I also tried Costco, which I thought I'd be safe at, and that didn't She's work. She's definitely not safe anywhere. Safe. Public? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Public? I have not been in at all um, since March Damn. 11th. There were definitely moments in this. What year is this? Hold on, fool. I mean, I said, well, you're, what day was this? It can't, ain't got no date on it, motherfucker. Hell no. I forgot that I'm me. I was taking Shark to like a, a dog play group with the rescue place that I got him from. You know, I was like, I didn't even think about it because we had so much nothing for so long. I didn't even think about it. I had like my full like green, like right there, full like, you know, wasn't covering anything mm. except obviously a mask. And I was like walking in and there was this car full of people. Damn, y'all was and noticing her by her hair. Y'all are crazy. And they were like, <laughs> it was like Billy Eilish. And I literally like looked behind me. I was like, what are you looking at? <laughs> I like forgot, totally forgot. But it was nice. It was it was really nice to see people. She forgot like, she before was Billy. COVID at all. Like I don't go in public anyway, just because it's a complete disaster. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's a bad idea to do. But I have googled myself. Only just the titles because there are there. What's funny? Like I'm not trying to see myself on like Twitter. That is a no go. Oh my gosh. Don't want to see that because that shit is mean. I look myself is ruthless, up to like though. laugh, but I it's really good, don't want to actually see what's being said. Are they ruthless? But it is it is a, it's good for a, a good laugh. I don't know if I'm more confident. I just think I know what I'm doing more. Uh, I think I'm less confident actually. I've, I feel <laughs> like I'm probably the most confident I've ever been in my life. I don't think I've ever been more confident than I am. Talk to me. Yep. I. She uh, still like that? Totally true. That first year. <laughs> I was definitely just like, I even had to ask that. not even thinking about myself, so I wasn't even thinking about confidence. We all know that that second year was <laughs> rough. <laughs> last year, yeah, I definitely was the most confident I've ever been. Hard. I think I think that's still probably the most confident. I haven't like gone down at all. I just think it pretty much yeah, is Billy. right there. COVID has made me less confident in myself just because it's made me stop. But I feel like everybody felt like that in COVID though. <laughs> I was used to doing and got good at, but it's mostly stayed the same. I'm not like not confident, but I uh, definitely was really at my peak a year ago. I was really peaking. Happy, happy girl. That's hard. I would tell 16 year old me to to remember who her best friends are and remember who the people that care about her the most yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not throw them away yeah. for somebody else or for something else. Bar. Oof, that hits hard. Um, knowing the situations that I was talking about. God, how do you prepare someone for this year? I think all I would say is just like, enjoy this. Yeah. Don't take anything for granted. 
Don't ever come off stage during this year and think, ah, I didn't really like that show. I didn't really, nope. And by the way, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> when shows are allowed, I'm, I, every show is gonna be the best show I've ever seen. Yeah. Done. That's that. Sure, come here. Come here. Give me yourself. Give me your butt. The big ass dog. <laughs> All right, bring in the mom. This is my mom. My dog. She's sick as a booty. I don't mind. I can stay here that long. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. Hello, baby. His grandma. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you so much. I miss being on the road with this her heart. and I miss seeing her do her shows because she's so incredible. But I have loved being home with her. Shout out the Don't mothers, take your man. For granted, people. Shout out the mothers. Shout out the my dudes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know part four. I don't know when it's gonna be up, bro. <laughs> but just stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? If you new subscribe, 20k is on the way. Um, this shit been crazy though, man. I've been growing and it's been pretty cool. I ain't even gonna lie to you, cuz you know what I'm saying? Let's just keep going, you know what I'm saying? Keep going, keep shopping, be great every day. See what I'm saying? More album reactions are on the way. Be on the lookout. Um, I'm gonna be streaming, of course. Um, hopefully I'm entertaining enough for you niggas to come tune into the stream, cuz come kick it with a nigga. Yeah, just blah 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 blah. You see what I'm saying? But if you are new, do all that, subscribe and shit, like and comment, and meet you out, man. See what I'm saying?